Hello, and welcome to Bipolar Opposites. My name is Tim Cubbin, and I'm the host of the show. Well, it's that time of year. The cold, the snow, the sails. Yes, Christmas. A time of joy and giving, and to many receiving. Christmas has lost its meaning. The kids don't think about the miraculous birth of Jesus Christ. They think about how Santa Claus is going to come down their chimneys and leave presents on their Christmas trees. They want great gifts like the Xbox One or Skylanders or Elsa dolls. They don't think of who really deserves gifts, which is why I'm talking to you right now. As you can tell, this is about my Christmas wish list. Now, yes, I can tell you that I am getting presents for my for Christmas myself this year, but I feel that there are others who deserve presents who aren't getting them. Yes, I am talking about charities. They are so important, and yet they're not getting enough attention. So I feel that with the holiday season, I wish that these charities could get for its recipients what they so greatly need. I want to share with you about these charities, what their history is, what they do, how to donate, and the meaning of these charities to me, and I hope you will make not just my wish come true, but also wish the recipients as well as for this special time of year. Right now I'd like to talk about the ASPCA. The American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, ASPCA, was the first humane society to be established in North America and is today one of the largest in the world. The organization was founded by Henry Berg in 1866 on a belief that animals are entitled to kind and respectful treatment at, to, at the hands of humans and must be protected under the law. Headquartered in New York City, the ASPCA maintains a strong local presence and with programs that extend their anti-cruelty mission around the country, they are recognized as a national animal welfare organization. They are a privately funded not-for-profit corporation and proud to boast more than one million supporters around the country. As the first humane organization to be granted legal authority to investigate and make arrests for crimes against animals, they are wholly dedicated to fulfilling the ASPCA mission through nonviolent approaches. Their organization provides local and national leadership in three key areas. Caring for pets, parents and pets, providing positive outcomes for at-risk animals, and serving victims of animal cruelty. Incorporated in 1866 by a special act of the New York Legislature, the ASPCA has a rich history and challenges and victories. From blank hair reduction to the city's working horses and transforming dog pounds into professionally run adoption agencies, to founding animal hospitals still running today. The ASPCA's mission, as stated by Henry Berg in 1866, is to provide effective means for the protection, the prevention of cruelty to animals throughout the United States. The meaning the ASPCA has to me is I love dogs and cats. My dog Casper, who had for 15 and a half years, passed away in 2013, and I have an 11-year-old cat named Rose. The two of them had had such an important impact on my life, possibly even saving it, and up until Casper's death, I couldn't imagine life without him. I have no idea how I'll cope when Rose passes away, but in the meantime, I shouldn't think of that and should just appreciate their presence in my life. Going to the ASPCA directly, I think we've all seen the commercials. The sad, slow music with the images of hurt or shaking dogs and cats. They make me just want to jump through the television and give those poor animals hugs. I shake Casper amazingly well and can't bear to think of how anyone can how, could bring me up such awful, horrible, cruel cre- things to these, pe- these poor creatures. It hurts me to see them. So here's the part where you can fulfill not just my Christmas wish, but those of the poor animals out there suffering. The website to donate is https colon slash slash www.aspca.org slash donate. Now I know a lot of you figure that you ought to sign up for a monthly thing, which is something you may not want to do. At this time of the year, there is the option to do a holiday gift, which is a one-time deal, so you won't have to donate again unless you want to. I would be incredibly grateful, as with the animals, if you could fulfill my w- Christmas wish list. I thank you for watching this video, and if you would share this with others, that would be fantastic. Until next time, Tim Cubbin, out.